So continuing from framework of CBNRM, that is these three levels of CBNRM, how it actually work. We had national level, intermediate level, and local level, right? Now, what are the benefits uh, with that we get from you know community-based natural resource management? So two type of benefit. First is direct benefit. What are those? Investment in rural infrastructure through various projects that are funded by different organizations. It could be government and these days also, you know, corporates are also coming uh, into picture. Direct cash dividends earned from various kind of partnerships, employment opportunities with uh, private sectors, employment opportunities with community-based organizations. As you know that at the village level, there are also now various CBOs or community-based organizations are coming, coming up. And uh, these days, entrepreneurship has become a kind of a mantra. And uh, it is this particular, you know, uh, drive of entrepreneurship. It has really uh, changed quite a lot the mindset of the communities. And through various type of community-based organizations, they are trying to enhance, you know, uh, their income. So these are a couple of, you know, uh, direct benefits that we can, one can achieve through CBNRM. What are the indirect benefits? Maintenance or growth or stocks of natural resources. So the natural resources which basically is the foundation for your any kind of you know livelihood activities. CBNRM also help in maintenance growth as well as stocks of natural resources. Second capacity building. Third opportunities to diversify the you know local economy and it also helps in integrating it into the marketplace. Very, very important point. You know, what happened is that, that diversification of local economy can actually also allow the community to cope with various unseen, you know, eventualities. It could be various kind of disasters. It could be also sudden uh, jump in the price of inputs, maybe the market, if the demand for produced uh, material goes down. So these are all kind of things which are, you know, unseen. And if you diversify your local economy, not only just, you know, remain on crop production, but you can also go into animal husbandry, livestock management, fishery, then, you know, weaving. So there are various kind of uh, way that one can diversify the local economy and also in household livelihood system. So higher the diversification of local economy, less is the vulnerability of that particular community. And integration of all those things in the marketplace is critical because if the linkage between the, you know, the field and market is not established in appropriate manner, definitely the livelihood of a community, the sustainability of a community will be affected. So these are the two type of benefit that one can achieve from CBNRM. Like any other system, CBNRM also faces you know, certain difficulties. What are those difficulties that one can actually anticipate in CBNRM? Scaling. In case of uh, wildlife, the home range of some species, you know, might extend beyond the boundaries of the community that is the unit of the management for CBNRM. So, suppose, you know, you have one village boundary here and right there another village is here and then you have another village here. So, village A, village B and C. Unfortunately, the wildlife, livestock, they don't understand the boundaries. So suppose the livestock belongs to the zone A. So they now, because of, you know, search of food, probably they can go and migrate into, you know, village B. Or even from village B, they can migrate into village C. So what happened is that those livestock basically are the responsibility of this village A to manage, but they migrated to B. And then there is a chance that these, you know, groups of livestock may become orphan. 
So, these are certain uh, scale related uh, difficulties that CBNRM you could actually face. Time, some natural resources you will find that for example, timber, various kind of timber uh, species, it take a long time to get mature. So, that means that decision which are made now will have an impact on the resource only in several years down the line. So, means if you suppose go for one timber species plantation or management of a particular timber species, if you grow it now and start managing it properly, ultimately the fruit will come when it gets mature and that could take certain amount of times. So, these are again some issues probably that investment that you put for growing those plant species that immediately will not come back to you, you have to wait. Complexity, the laws and the policies which control the use of natural resources in many countries often overlap and also you will find that they are outdated. Now communities uh, themselves are also very complex, they are very diverse with their culture, their food habit, even the way they that manage the crops and the livestock are quite different from each other. As with any kind of change, some groups might you know get more benefit from CBNRM and where some other group may get little less. So, this complexity will be there. So, as an individual, as a manager in that particular area or at administration of that particular district or village, one has to understand this complexity and should take appropriate uh, step so that there is you know, you know negative dynamics among different communities. Implementation, very critical, I have couple of time mentioned in my earlier lecture as well. Successful CBNRM requires dedicated and skilled implementation and that only will be able to impact the policy formulation, legislations and thus the action. Remember that lack of skilled individuals or groups may affect the implementation quite significantly. Partnership, very, very important for any kind of, you know, initiative, especially at the level of community. So, CBNRM also, you will find that if the partnership between different organization, different groups are not, you know, well, then there will be some difficulty. So, then you will see that there are various uh, uh, stakeholder also will be there in an area in, like central government, state governments, private sector. So, there is a real concern that how you know these uh, different uh, stakeholders uh, will work towards one single goal that is the improvement of the quality of the life of a community. So, it is important that uh, somehow that this you know multi-stakeholders presence in a community is properly channelized and there is a kind of a synergy between the effort that individual uh, stakeholders are trying to make. So, methods and skills for the communities to mature into full and equal partners also need to be developed because the community need to understand that which particular approach is actually beneficial for them. There will be as I said few numbers of stakeholders or players present there. So, if the community is trained or skilled, so they will be understanding that which particular way is more uh, beneficial for them and easy for them to handle. Traditional leadership is very, very important. Many newly independent governments, you know, marginalize the roles of traditional community or authorities especially in favor of so-called modern political uh, structures such as elected village council or VDCs. CBNRM programs with their aim for re-establishing community ownership over you know their natural resources are often faced with the dilemma of how best to structure the new locally based institution. That is a big challenge in CBNRM. If you go uh, yourself to work for CBNRM at the community level, I can assure you that the institutional uh, structure and also you know finding the traditional leadership is one critical component. So, we need to keep in mind that also we should respect the, the local 
traditional authorities to some extent because remember that they had been managing their own natural resources whichever way for almost centuries altogether. So all of a sudden that structure if it is disturbed so there could be you know some kind of dynamics which probably may not give you the you know fruits of CBNRM which is actually in, intended for some good well-being for the community. Ecological status of the resources. CBNRM approaches have always tried to work based for the environments. They try to keep the environment safe and at the same time also try to extract the most benefit for the community. So the balance of utilizing a natural resources as I mentioned in my previous lecture that a monopoly of one particular land use probably lead to some problem in future and that needs to be also taken care in appropriate manner. So in case of CBNRM, so there will be some time challenges for the community as well that how to manage their land and natural resources while keeping the environment safe. In areas where natural resources are severely degraded and people are also poor, there you know might not be sufficient incentives to change the way resources are managed. So if people are already poor and they are already living in a very challenging you know geography, so asking them or expecting them that they will be you know implementing CBNRM as per the principle will be little bit you know over optimistic for us to think. So that is one the difficulty that also you can face in case of CBNRM. Mm -hmm.